something you want to touch. Oh. What? Hey, boy, there, you want to come get your microphone? Oh, yeah. That's not good for us. Show that monkey back there. This is the monkey. You're disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the essence of gratitude. Wait! Right. For the love of God, wait! Okay. We don't do that here. Oh. In the words of Killmonger from Black Panther, we don't do that here. Oh. <laughs> We don't do that here. There's something very deep to my heart tonight that I want to point out. Okay. It's a gentleman by the name of Paul Stevens. Paul Stevens. And I am his number one fan. So please, introduce me. Paul Stevens sucks. You son of a bitch! Don't oh, 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 oh. Back up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Stevens' number one fan, Grayson Beckett! Yeah! And his opponent, you better do it right, Paul Stevens! The artist formerly known as Paul Stevens, The Unhinged Will Kay! Oh, 
almost running him over, Grayson Beckett there. There goes Cage, nice deep arm drag takedown. But Grayson Beckett turned the best fair play. Beautiful arm drags here, beautiful to play professional wrestling by these two gentlemen here tonight. Oh, look at that, held on to it and looking for the angle lock. Oh, 
almost excellent position here. And it's, that's professional wrestling. It can change just like that. And you're right, it, it, it did change just like that. Grace and Nick able to roll into that ring like awareness. You know, knowing where you're at in, in all times is a, is a benefit. You gotta wonder how much damage that already did to the ankle, though, in just that short amount of time. Drop toe hold here, it could be going right back into that ankle lock. Cage, gonna take a drive the knee into the canvas. Yeah, I guess uh, we saw this tactic applied last match. But can, the, can it work this time? Well, I mean, it worked to per almost to perfection, I should say, for the main event, Curtis Dawn. But one slip up and you know that it's going to change the whole matchup. Oh. And literally using his foot as a fulcrum. Oh, but look at Grayson coming back. And Grayson looking almost an STF here. I'm not sure how much he's got it locked in. Referee right on top of the action. Cage trying to wiggle his way to the ropes to force the break, and there he goes. How much did it take out of Will Cage just getting to that on top of having that applied? Absolutely, and then you got to think the body weight that he had to drag at Grayson Beckett's. That is. Did you, did you just say something about his body weight? I mean, come on, bro. Off the ropes. Let's go. One, two, Come on, Grayson, get back in the ring. Come on, off the ropes. Uh, come on. Oh! Come on, Grayson, back in. Let's go. Back it. Coming back in here. Going right back after that leg. Smart strategy, but KJ will push him off. KJ hobbled. But coming in, trying as fast as he can. KJ will move out easily, but gets caught coming back in. Oh, that knee. Oh, the kick right to the shoulder blade. And our general manager over there riding in the pain over that one. Get off of me. Fucking nerd. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Shoots him off the ropes. Cage. Beautiful clothesline right there. <coughs> the technical wrestling display being put on by these two gentlemen have to be impressing you, Mr. Three, General Manager. Four, I mean, you don't see much technical wrestling in this day and age, and what we're seeing is, is two putting on a show. Absolutely, two I warriors. You're right about that. Both of these men hungry for a victory. Cage trying to establish himself, saying he doesn't need the Maniac that well. Spin and toe hold. Apparently, he doesn't need them. I'm not going to say what he said because I'm scared of him. But are you? Hey, very, very. I think terrified might be a better word. Oh, we heard from Ray. 
but I don't think that's what Ray had in mind. I hesitate to think. You said Ray was all fired up, and as you see Beckett ducking that right there, but I mean, you said Ray was all fired up, and I shudder to think what he could be thinking about here tonight. Well, you know how Ray does the opening of the show. That wasn't a typical Ray. Something's on his mind, and we're going to hear about it at some point. You're absolutely right about that, and I mean, you can't get any scarier than that. Look at that nice move in the back end of the headlock. I got nothing. I got nothing. I, apparently, 
behind his back. And so he gets clean. Oh, he gets caught coming in though. Beckett, super kick. Beckett into the cover. One, two. Oh, two count only. And I thought this match was fixing to take a turn. Absolutely. I thought we may be about to have a blatant disqualification. Cage into the corner here. I mean, moving past this match, regardless of who wins, you have to take note of Will Cage's new attitude. Absolutely, the new fierceness, but you got to give it up to Grayson Beckett. Nice maneuver there, getting the advantage back from Cage. I'm not sure what Beckett's thinking here from the second row. Oh, look at that rolling DDT from the second row, and that's got to be in it. If Grayson Beckett can just drape an arm something over Cage, this is going to be all. The problem is, is he's exerted so much to get to this point. Can he capitalize? You got to wonder. There it is. Cover. Two. Three. Oh, man. <laughs> Cannot believe Cage able to kick out of that. I don't know how close that referee's hand was to that canvas, but it had to be very close. Now, even Grayson, he's got to control this, but even Grayson, you can see, hear the frustration. Grayson trying to get this crowd behind him. Running knee strike. Beckett. Oh, Beckett gets caught, though. He's got a back in the knee. Is he? Oh, that way. He locks this in. Oh, Beckett trying to fight it, but now figure four, center of the ring. Oh, look at the defiance from both men. And look at this, able to reverse the pressure, now the pressure on Cage. Cage able to get to the ropes so quickly. Both men, their bodies have got to be ravaged at this point. you got to wonder how much each man has left. There's literally no words for this as Cage catches him. Running in it. Oh, right to the second turnbuckle. Cage going to get a running start here. Oh, the double knees right to the back. Out of the corner. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Off the ropes. Off the ropes. Come on. Five. Three. Three. Four. Four. Reasonably, does a victory mean for this one? You gotta wonder what I think. You gotta absolutely wonder that. Yeah. The referee sticking up for himself here. Your place, you fucking mark. I, Checking on the official. What? What? Thank you! Oh, a third! Without a leverage! And the ref trying to fix the turnbuckle by two! Three! Oh, two count only. Cage fires off a shot. Both men just trading, now just slapping each other. Cage could be looking possibly into the hand of a club. What's going on? And the ref takes it down there, grasping at his throat. The ref debilitated here. Come on, great set. Come on, Grayson. Oh, shit. He did it. Whatever's happening, it was Grayson. No. It was Grayson. I saw him do it. No, you take it. What? 
I didn't have anything to do with that. Did you hit him with that? No, I did not. Did yes, you hit him with that? I never hit him. He did it! I didn't touch him! Ike. I didn't touch him! Ike. No, referee's <laughs> picking up the point of the hill. Uh, yeah. What's the decision? No, I didn't! Yeah. Ask me, Spine, how much the American citizen oh, I did not. Well, the final is the general manager of the AWO. The referee has the final decision, and he has ruled that your winner of disqualification, Grayson Beckett. Yeah. After a back and forth, and cut off, come on now. Come on. And Beckett catches Cage.